Last night at Warriors of Deliverance 3, John Ramirez talked about faith. And he emphasized the point that without faith, it's impossible to please God. And I was thinking more about that today. And I've uh, come, what's come into my head is something that I call the trifecta of faith. Uh, I, I kind of came up with this term, the trifecta of faith, but uh, the, you know, three aspects uh, to faith. One, uh, it starts with belief in the heart. Uh, you can't manufacture faith. Um, it starts in the heart and it's a choice to believe. It's a choice to let the Lord reveal to the heart what's true, what's from him, what he desires, what his will is, what his purposes are, and what's possible in him. And then the second part of that uh, trifecta of faith is confession, because what's in our heart, our mouths will speak out. Because if I'm anxious, if I'm afraid, you're going to hear my mouth saying things like, man, I sure hope, or man, why don't I, I don't know if that, that's from the heart, the mouth speaks. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, the scripture says. So belief in the heart, confession with the mouth. And then thirdly, if you truly believe what you believe, you will act on your belief. People can say all day long empty words of things that they believe are possible or they supposedly believe are possible, uh, that the scripture says are possible, but without action, that belief is dead. Let me say it again. Without action, that belief is dead. So, trifecta of faith, believe in your heart, let the Lord reveal truth, reveal promises, and reveal what's possible. Secondly, confess it with your mouth, just like in Romans where it says to believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and you will be saved. Same principle, believe in your heart, confess with your mouth, and thirdly, take action. Step into the things that the Lord has called you into doing. Uh, obey the voice of the Lord. Walk out your faith with obedience.